don't even feel where it bit me, but one had bit me in the forehead earlier when I was falling asleep. Last night we had to go in our tents early because it started raining. And then it just continued to rain pretty much throughout the night. So here's a tip for everyone out there. Bring some sort of fire starter. You don't need to use it, but they're light, they're easy, it's a safer choice. So this is the second day of our Boundary Waters trip, and we paddled in 13 and a half miles so that we could get to the Basswood River. So we have decided that we are going to go run the river today. Chris and Blake made a point to go walk over, scope it out, scout the rapids. So Blake's got a plan at least for this first first set. So it should be should be a lot of fun. I mean that's why we that's why we paddled all the way in here on the first day was so that we could get some white water in. Upper Basswood Falls. Currently, I want to ride it out. All right, paddle. Whee! Big rock. Here's Upper Basswood Falls on the other side. I don't know if they're going to take the sneak route or the other one. You guys are crazy! Oh, look at that! Expert level. Still there though. He's going to want a picture of this. This is one of the biggest holes that I've seen. This is not something you run when you're out away from everyone. The sneak through path is over there at the very far end and that would be tough to make it through there anyway. There's a lot of recirculation. I think we go the other direction and see if it goes through because this isn't really runnable. I mean, it's we'd ping pong through here. Yeah. We might make it through, but the canoe is not. So we're coming up on some more rapids to scout. Now, the obvious way to go would be right through here, but that rock is there, so you have to go right to the side of it, I think. So, kind of aim for the stick where it's pointing. Up here is a little bit wild. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Shoot through here. There's all those rocks there again. That's what's a bit of a problem. It really is. Well, what if it went? Oh, that's really rocky too. Yeah, I didn't expect. Because those rocks are pointing at us too. Yeah. Feels like we go around. Well, we 
didn't expect this one. Not runnable here either. Now, one of the things that you really can't see is that these rocks are really sticky. I don't know what it is exactly, but they're very porous and they want to grab the kayak. So, it's a different obstacle that we're used to. Scratching more than I thought it would be. unexpected and it connects it to Canada Definitely way through. This ended up being the last rapids that we ran for the day and simply because guys decided that they were done so we headed back and it's always a little bit tough to do an out and back but at the same time all of our gear was back at camp so we were only hauling our boats. Great way to do this trip. I would have loved to hit more of the white water and spend more time here in this area but we did what we were able to, you know, Trevor that's life. Long way. And the boundary waters is going to keep us coming back because I definitely want to run those rapids again. So if you get a chance and you can do it safely, make a point to check out the Basswood River. So the goal is to catch some fish. We don't need fish today, but that was nice. <laughs> hey, Trev, I got a fish. Oh, that's a nice northern. That one. 
Um, pretty fat. Not super long. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Basswood Lake actually has some special regulations for some of the fish, um, in particular northerns. So this one, although it was a real nice fish, actually needed to go back. So whether I wanted to keep it or not, it didn't really matter. This is Blake's homemade sauce garden. It's a mozzarella cheese. Make sure to click and subscribe so you can check out day three of the Boundary Waters trip. Maybe not quite as exciting, but definitely more typical, and we catch some fish. So check it out.